Hello everyone, I'm Rose Fear, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Classic Burning Crusade and the level 58 boost. And I know that Mad Season has put out his one hour long massive like conversation on this topic just yesterday, and I had already recorded this video beforehand, but I really still want to, I want to put out my thoughts and ideas on this topic going forward, because this is something that means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to other people as well, and I just want to, again, add my voice to basically the outcry against the level 58 boost, because I think it's really bad for the game, and it's not something that I want to see come to Classic Burning Crusade. So, the first reason why this is a bad idea for Classic Burning Crusade, and just Classic in general, is because it's not going to solve the problem that Blizzard is actively trying to solve in catching these players up who didn't like to pl didn't like classic or didn't want to play classics and get them caught up so they can play with their friends. Yes, it will get them caught up so they can play with their friends, but the change from classic World of Warcraft to the Burning Crusade is actually rather minimal when you think of the core gameplay loop of what classic World of Warcraft is. It's and the Burning Crusade, in my opinion, is the only true expansion to World of Warcraft in that, like I said, not a whole lot changes from Classic to Burning Crusade. And because of that, there's a few changes, like you get resilience on your PvP gear, you get more skill-based PvP gear as far as uh, it not being just a massive time sink that takes months and uh, basically having no life or anything to do, uh, like, it, it fixes that. It fixes some problems with the game and makes it better. And I think that's why we saw so much growth in the Burning Crusade is not just because it was still new, not just because the game was still new, but because the game was basically classic World of Warcraft, just better, right? Uh, another good change that they made was uh, basically making every class spec viable for raiding and even to the point where most uh, top-end guilds will want at least one spec of every class within the raid. You know, with a few exceptions, you don't necessarily need a rogue. You don't necessarily need a fury warrior. Uh, those kind of things. You don't necessarily need, like, a feral druid either. Um, there's a few of them that you don't have to have in the raid. But uh, it you you can uh, have them in the raid, and it's not a detriment to to the raid. So that's a huge change, and it's a really good change as well. Um I think those are the, the oh, also raiding just got better, like the bosses and the raids in general are way better with the exception of Mount Hyjal. We don't talk about that because I have PTSD. Um, but other than that, the, the game just gets better. But leveling, the attunements, all this stuff just, it, it's basically the same. Or the attunements like, you know, in NPC, they just get harder and are more time consuming. So if you're like, oh, I need the level 58 boost because I don't have time to level... Well, the leveling in Classic World of, or in Classic Burning Crusade is essentially the same as Classic World of Warcraft. There's just fewer levels, A. And then when you get to level cap, you basically have to continue leveling because you're going to continue doing these quests to do attunements and dungeons and all this super like time-consuming stuff. Like it's uh if you don't have the time for Classic World of Warcraft, you sure as shit won't have the time for Classic Burning Crusade. Okay, so one of the main arguments that the pro-boosting community or the people who are pro-boost uh, make is that people are already dungeon boosting all the way up to 60 as it is. And, you know, basically people are buying gold and then buying boosts from people in-game with that gold. So they may as well just buy the boost from Blizzard, right? And sure, I guess that argument's okay, but it's it's never smart to say, well, people are already doing it, so you may as well just do it anyways and the most important thing like i've already said a couple times to classic world of warcraft is the core gameplay loop that makes it so good and dungeon boosting is actually a really big problem that i think blizzard should take some time to fix and i've actually come up with some solutions for this and i'm going to go over those now so one thing that they could do and i think they should do uh should have done a long time ago and if they ever do some classic like fresh start classic servers they should definitely do this is Make it so that if you have uh, somebody who's eight levels above you in your party, that you just don't gain XP. Just period. Dun inside dungeons, outside dungeons, anywhere, right? So you just don't gain XP from kills. This would basically kill the open world like tagging. Well, not really the tagging system, but um, th there's other things that they could do to fix that. Like if you don't do the majority of the damage to a mob, 
then you, or at least a certain X per, uh, percent of damage to the mob, then you won't gain XP from it or, you know, something like that. But uh, for the dungeon boosting specifically, if somebody's eight levels above you, then you just don't gain XP within that dungeon. And also loot won't drop. So that solves a couple problems where, you know, you won't get any loot. Uh, so we won't get any gold and you won't get any XP. Right, so it basically makes it impossible for people to do that. And something else I think they could do, and probably should do, and I don't know how the uh, classic community feels about this overall, but I think it could help the game. Is just if you're in a dungeon by yourself, the loot that drops just is drastically reduced, so that you have to actually have a party in the in the dungeon with you that's of the same level range as you to actually be able to get loot. And sure, there's ways to overcome this but it just creates a much bigger hurdle for, say, bots and other things like that to actually be able to farm in dungeons and things like that. And it basically kills the pickpocketing uh, exploit that people are doing with rogues inside of BRD um, because that's a really easy um, farm that they can do. So there, there's all kinds of solutions like this that are fairly simple to code and fairly simple to implement within the game that could solve a lot of these problems or at least make it much harder for people to do these things. So... This is something that I think Blizzard needs to take a look at and probably should have taken a look at outside of just the actual level 58 boost, you know, also being bad for the game because, honestly, we want people playing the game. And if you're paying to skip the game, that's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, so the next big issue with the boost is it's going to make it easier for people to bot and it's going to make it easier for people to exploit the system as far as making gold with profession alts in uh in a way that's not really meant to be so like i know for a fact that there's going to be people that are creating it basically an army of alt professionals through this system to make gold and if you don't believe me just go watch stay safe's video on this topic that he made uh i think it was about a week ago now so just go watch his video he explains that one in a very detailed way and maths it out for everybody to explain how profitable this is actually going to be for people and uh, basically making a gold legally within the TOS. And that's uh, a huge problem because that's not something that you can even do on retail outside of the maybe farming professions. You can get people up to level to go farm and stuff like that. But that's that's another problem entirely. So it's going to make it pe easier for people to bot as far as uh, boosting themselves up to level 58. They can uh, then you know basically just do a couple levels and uh or bot the next couple levels which is way faster than botting one to 60 and then jump right in to doing their normal botting routine as far as like what they were already doing in dungeons to farm gold things like that so this is actually a huge problem that i don't i, I just don't see how blizzard doesn't know this is going to happen like they well they have to know that it's going to happen it feels like the boost honestly it feels like the boost idea for level 58 didn't come from the game design team it sounds like it came from the accounting department the more than i think about it because game design wise I, there's no way the developers at blizzard are this stupid it has to come from the the accounting department that doesn't understand games and doesn't understand the damage that is going to be doing to their game so yeah with that being said it's going to cause huge problems within you know basically just creating armies of bots creating armies of profession alts and destroy the economy that's already mostly destroyed as it is and make inflation even worse and with inflation getting even worse imagine you are one of these people who didn't want to play classic burning crusade or sorry you didn't want to play classic vanilla but you want to play classic burning crusade so you're like i'm going to come back i'm going to play with my friends and i'm going to boost this character to level 58 when it comes out and you do that and maybe you come back even in the middle of the expansion after the inflation has happened. Or let's say you come back right now, the inflation the way it is, and how much gold people have just sitting around on their accounts. Um, let's say you come back now and you boost your character. I'm assuming you're probably going to get, they're going to give you somewhere around 100 gold, something like that. It's nothing crazy, just enough to get started. Uh, they'll probably give you a basic 60% fat kid mount and that's about it um, plus a, a template starting gear as well so you can actually go level and do things so they're going to give you those things 
and let's let's say uh, you go to the auction house, you want to buy some stuff, and all of a sudden you see something that should be cheap, but it's like I don't know. Let's let's say silver silver bars, just as an example. I actually don't know what the price is on my server currently, uh, but let's say they're around. Uh, or let let's say uh, I I'm I'm losing my train of thought here. Um, professions. I don't think that they're going to give you profession boost with the alt with the uh, level 58 boost. So let's say you want to level your blacksmithing, right? And you go to level blacksmithing and you want to buy some of the things so that you can just level up real quickly. And you go to the auction house and you see the price of copper bars is lit through the roof. You can't buy the copper bars because you only have a couple hundred gold. What are you going to do? Are you going to go out and farm all the materials? You don't like classic World of Warcraft. Are you going to actually play the game? Probably not. Like, this is going to be a huge problem because the, the the economy is already destroyed as it is, and further inflation is going to make it more difficult on new players who have no gold. So these people who just boosted their character, who have no time investment or attachment to their character, are going to do one of two things. They're going to quit, or they're going to go buy gold. The, I mean, this is just feeding the problem and making it worse. So that leads me into my next topic. All right, so I did have one last point that I wanted to make in this video, but I decided to cut it out because I don't feel like it was going to promote good discussion in the comments, and it, it just didn't come across the way I wanted it to. So with that being said, uh, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.